Uh, today, Man Cave Tools, let's go over the DeWalt XR Jigsaw. Let's go over the specs really quick, then let's get to it. I want to give two shout outs. I want to give to, a shout out to Antonio Claudio. Please go check him out. Give him some feedback, tell him how he's doing. Go check him out, go watch his videos. You guys, Tool Channels is a tool channel. I don't know about you, but I can't get enough of tools. So I watch a lot of other YouTube channels. Also, I wanna give a shout out to some guy with tools. I met this guy, he's a great guy. We did went on a major adventure together along with other uh, influencers. So Antonio Claudio and some guy with tools, please go check them out, you guys. Spread the love. The DeWalt XR Jigsaw weighs, with a four amp hour battery and a blade, five pounds and 13.9 ounces. All right, so when it comes to this video, we are gonna use a four amp hour battery with 21,700 cells in it. And just so you guys know, when it comes to circular saws, jigsaws, uh, for certain tools, it needs to be used for a while before a good review could even come of it or even a test video. I've been using this for a while. It has some wear and tear, it's a little messed up. You know, it's not completely, you know, beat up. but severely used and now it's time to do an actual review on it. Now, when it comes to these type of tests, I don't really judge time this is a completely different type of test this has to do with handling and accuracy of the cut all right and it's how well does this glide through the wood without straying off uh off course and one thing i do have an issue with that this four amp hour battery is not easy to take out i love on how easy it is to change the blade just like that done that back on, battery is full. All right, so as you can see here, we have some designs. I'm gonna follow each of these designs, and yes, I made some close on purpose to see if it'll cut that shape out accurately, even though it's close to an edge. If you add the, the orbital feature, as you can see, That does come handy if you need it, but we are going to do a straight cut. We're, we don't want to chop, just chop through these. All right, let's, uh, let's see how this does. As you can see, a lot of vi a lot of vibration because it just wouldn't bite through it. So let's go to that's a we have three lines that are the same. So let's go to uh, orbital one. That's a orbital one. Let's go to a orbital two. Much better. That is orbital two. Let's uh, next. Let's do three. As you can see, there you go. Now let's uh, chop those off. And there you have those. So not bad, not, ba not a bad cut. 
Though those are not in order, by the way. So yeah. So not too bad of a cut though. Like like it, as you can see, the different settings has different purposes, and the the choppier the cut is, but you have a little more control, but it'll cut faster where you might slip. So so yeah, let's continue. This is a brand new Bosch blade, by the way. Let's uh, continue on Orbital 3. All right, so as you can see, I'm outside of the lines on that one. It didn't exactly cut that, uh, that was not a good cut. But now let's go through, let's go to regular speed with no orbital feature. Let's do a few designs that are crazy. Let's see if I can follow it. Oh, this does have, like I said, it does have multiple speed settings. We, we are using speed seven. You know, we're going a little bit crazy. Let's go to speed four. Let's do speed four. All right, maybe speed five, no, speed six. See, that's what that that is one issue that I have uh, problems with with this specific jigsaw. On itself because the vibration and and yeah, so it it's it pivots and so it swivels. All right, but I just locked it back up. Let's do it again. And because, and because I stopped, I no longer have the smooth groove. So now I am completely out of the line. So yeah, that's one issue that I do have uh, is like the, the lock. This lock keeps coming undone by itself. Yeah, because it's a big deal. It is a big deal if that comes unlocked and you got to restart because you, you have the smooth momentum to do the lines and it just, it just gets a little out of hand. the other way that's the test to see if it went all the way through which it did which it did so see as you can see it's not a bad cut it's not a bad cut at all not bad at all but yeah as you can see like there like this does have its ups and downs but obviously, like stuff like this can't do 90 degree turns. You wouldn't use it, uh, like you, you'd cut your way to it instead of doing it at once. I've been using this for a while, uh, working on the yard, working on the house, and it actually is a pretty decent jigsaw. And once again, the model for number for this is DCS334. And I will admit, I love the design of this. It does look really, really good. And you actually get, it performs the way it looks. It is XR, and so yeah. So we did use a, like I said, we did use a 40 hour battery, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to show you this because this is actually part of the Black Friday sale again, and I actually bought this last year for the Black Friday sale. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.